to a 3-2-1 and our theme remember this week is Oasis and we've got Alan and Susan who are from Brecon in Scotland playing in this part of the show against Bob and Alison who are from Melton Mowbray the tall folks you know what happens here of course at the end of each one of our items we're about to show you one of our guests is going to come here to the table leave you a clue object and they read the rhyme a rhyme that a lot of people find it very difficult to decipher I'm sure you'll have no trouble at all when we have three here on the table you're gonna have to choose one to reject if you're gonna be the lucky couple who gets through the elimination question eh? All right, so good luck then. We'll go on and have item number one of Oasis. And what a way to start. The number is called Knock on Wood, and who else but the Brian Rogers Connection. A great routine, as always. I know he's got you, that R Brian Rogers, dashing up and down the motorway, what with Her Majesty's and our show. Good routine, as always. And I'd like to mention Miriam Stockley. What a fabulous singer she was on that, huh? Fabulous. Great routine. What are you leaving the folks here as the clue? A piece of wood. One piece of wood is the clue for you. OK, Rob, what's the... What's the uh, right. Take a stab, lend an ear. What's in there is in here. Mm. See, we can all remember that. Can't make anything out of it, though, can we? Thank you, Rob, of the Brian Rogers Connection. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> well, I know uh, all of our couples say, oh, it's a little early, but what do you think, Alan? Any idea on that one mm -hmm. at all? Nothing so far. Mm -hmm. How about the Littley Wilsons? <laughs> <laughs> no? So we go on and have item number two of Oasis and one of the brightest new comedy stars around today. Please welcome Andrew O'Connor. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Inspector Clouseau. I'm an officer of the lair law. <laughs> At the moment, I'm working on the case of a man who a fortnight ago stole a hundred bottles of syrup of figs. <laughs> He's been on the run for a fortnight. <laughs> I'm also working on the case of the missing moustache. I've lost it, I don't know where it is. I will have to buy myself a can of whiskers. A can of whiskers, wouldn't <laughs> At the moment, the only clue I have is this lighter. I will find out if it works. 
What the flipping it? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear and oh, Happy birthday to me. Thank you. You're a lovely audience, sir. Wish I'd got a better act, really. <laughs> you know, Inspector Clouseau off the films was one of my all-time favourite screen heroes. And I think the big problem with the films today is they're all so violent, aren't they? And that new guy. Okay, then push me, okay, no problem. Okay, you don't push me, okay, no problem. Don't push me! Arthur Scargill. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone has just made a new film, yeah. And it's a cross between First Blood 2 and The Wizard of Oz. It's called Somewhere Over the Rambo. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm a comedian. <laughs> You've got to imagine, right, that Rambo is being trained to go into Vietnam. And the sergeant says, OK, Rambo, this is what you have to do. It's a good voice, that, isn't it? You've got to go in the jungle, you'll be completely unarmed. It's me doing all these voices, you know. And you've got to capture and kill a wild grizzly bear. He said, OK, no problem. OK, you don't push me, no problem. OK, no problem. OK, I'll do it. <laughs> so Rambo walks into the jungle. Pow! 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 And he stops. And there's a rustle in the leaves. Hello, Russell. <laughs> I'm a comedian, yeah. And he goes a bit further. <laughs> and Rambo suddenly lets out a blood-curdling, piercing scream. He goes... <laughs> because coming towards him is a hideous monster completely covered in reddy grey hair, going... Well, here we are in the underworld for the week. I'm not going to stop me. I'm not going to be holding this wonderful. How do you feel? Can you imagine Rambo having a conversation with Bellamy? Can you imagine? Okay, David, no problem. Okay, what? Well, Webble Mark went, we wonderful. Okay, David, no problem. Okay, David, wonderful. Well, only wonderful. They've done to the art of conversation what Herod did to Mother Care. <laughs> so he carries on walking, Rambo. <laughs> he lost a leg. And he goes into this tunnel. And he perfectly reproduces the mating cry of the wild grizzly bear. He goes, woo woo. <laughs> and a sound comes back, woo woo. And again he goes, woo woo. And a sound comes back. <laughs> it's my act, you know. I'm the comedian. <laughs> You can play if you want to. Rambo goes, woo woo, and the sound comes back. Woo and again he goes, woo woo, and the sound comes back. Woo and one last time he goes, woo woo, and the sound comes back. Woo and he's run down by the Orient Express. <laughs> well, I told you he was being trained. What do you want? <laughs> Lovely. And we're going to see you soon, aren't we, on, on a new series? Yeah, it's called Copycats and it starts very shortly. That's all the Impressionists, yes? All Impressionists. Right. <laughs> Good that you're here. What are you leaving these folks as a clue? Ah, it's an old boot. How about that? Look? Okay, oh. yes, it looks pretty old. And what does the rhyme say? It says, not so dusty if you win, you'll see it shining like a pin. Mm. And everyone goes very, very quiet, don't they? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew O'Connor. Good luck, Andrew. Good luck. All the best here. <laughs> now... Any thoughts about that one yet? Mm -hmm. I said dusty and it sounds a bit too obvious, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, at least you're thinking about it, right? One more on the table, of course, then you have to make up your mind which one you're going to get rid of if you get through the question. Here we go again. Now it's midnight at the Oasis, and here's a young lady it's always a pleasure to welcome back on our show. Helen Gels is here. Belly dancer, 
You don't need no harem, honey. No, no, no. When I am by your side, and you don't need no camera. No, no. When I take you for a ride. Shadows painting our faces, traces, romance in our head. Oh, come on, Ooh, come on, oh, yeah. Ooh, come on. Good to see you back on the show once again. Lovely. Thanks for coming up here. And I know you're working on something rather exciting, aren't you? Yes, I'm working on a new West End musical. Uh -huh. Lovely. Good luck. I hope it all works. What are you leaving them as the clue here? A stone. Stone. The boys couldn't have got you a bigger one than that, could they? <laughs> you, yeah, no, that's, that's the clue, the stone, all right. And what about the rhyme? What does that say? It says, not green, though so-called without fail, don't throw it in the army jail. You couldn't have had it clearer than that, could you? Beautifully said. Helen Gulzer. Thank Thanks, you. Helen. And good luck with the musical. Good luck. Well, now, how about that one, Bob? Well, no? We're baffled on that, but we're yep. uh, but you thinking back on the boot. Yes. Uh, could be the car, we think. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and how about you, Bob? Stone stunt, you're thinking on gems and diamonds and things like that. Yes, well... It's Something not green. to throw away, it sounds. Yep. Wanted to give it. Well, you're thinking about that one. And of course, now we have three on the table. I can read the other two just to refresh your memories again. This was the piece of wood item number one, which came in from Robert of the Brian Rogers Connection. He said, take a stab, lend an ear. What's in there is in here. All right? And of course, the boot came in, an old boot. Number two item from Andrew O'Connor, who said, not so dusty. If you win, you'll see it shining like a pin. So you have to choose one now to get rid of if you're going to get through the question. So you made up your yeah, mind, well, Alan? We're thinking the, the land and ear, uh, obviously rings bells with Romans, and Caesar being stabbed was, that was his downfall at the end of the day. One's got to be rejected. You have to choose one. Wood. Yeah. We'll reject you're going to reject the wood? wood. Yeah. Oh, so saying that's dusty bin, you're going to reject the wood? No, we thought the wood was dusty. <laughs> you thought the wood was dusty bin. Yeah. You want to get rid of that, do you? Please. Fine, and how about Alan and Susan? What are you going to do? Yeah, we think the same. About the wood? We've yes. for the wood. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. So, okay, we're unanimous on that one. The wood is going to be rejected. Whichever couple gets through the elimination question, and here it is. Folks, put your hand, please, beside the button there. When you think you know the answer, you hit the button and answer. Please don't answer before you hit the button, otherwise I have to offer it to the other couple. Whoever has a go first, if they're wrong, of course, I'll continue reading it until someone gets it right. Good luck to you. This is a desert. Okay, Alan's had a go straight away. What is it? Sahara. No, it's not the Sahara. So I can offer it to Bob. And Alison, what do you say? Uh, Gobi. No, it's not the Gobi, so I will continue reading it. There you go. It is in Africa. It's on the boundary of the Transvaal Plateaus and the Zambezi River. It contains... Okay, Bob's had a go again. Kalahari. The Kalahari. You've done it and you're through. Oh. <laughs> well done. Yes. You're through my very next line. It contains the Kalahari National Park. So that would have given it to whoever was quick. But you had a go and you're through. So we have to unfortunately say goodbye to Sue and Al. What do you have then, Caroline? What did they win in the quiz? 240 pounds. 240 pounds. Wow. Very nice. There's, of course, Susan. Al takes the ceramic dusty bin. And, of course, a little look across there because Linda has a consolation prize for you. A magnificent willow cane hamper packed with good food. How about that? Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like a picnic on that straight away, wouldn't you? Thanks very much, Sue. Take care to you. Okay, mm. bye-bye. All the best from Scotland, Britain. Take care, Alan. Give them a round of applause. Thanks so much. Well. Okay. 
Litley. Litley Wilsons are through, and it would be the tall people. <laughs> six, I just get the six feet, and I think I'm pretty tall. You're what, six what? Six four. Six four. Well, you're through. We're going to see exactly what it is you rejected, the piece of wood, after the break. See you in a couple of minutes.